Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at these uh, COVID positive. They're definitely ready in helping themselves to mask-like activities. The COVID positive crowd of individuals and the overall danger of owning a local game store. I think it's increased quite a bit, at least in the area I live. Uh, where I live, there is a lot of crime. And I don't know why there is so much crime where I live, but there is. And to be quite frank with you, it's a little bit scary. And they obviously, they're going to target something that is easy to sell. Collectibles are now highly recognized by thieves as easy to move. They are also fungible, meaning you know each collectible is kind of the same. So there's not any unique elements. It's not like a unique piece of artwork where if stolen, it might be harder to sell. No, these are uh, Funko figures. These are things that, for the most part, are magic cards or Pokemon cards. Uh, you can see this guy is lifting the bulk. He's looking at the bulk. And um, the reason this is interesting and the activity is, uh, I have another video. The reason that that's interesting is these guys actually went into the store and they had no idea what to steal. So they ended up stealing 35,000 Pokemon cards most of it bulk. The thieves entered a San Jose business, business under the cover of night to execute their heist. They broke in with one crawling along the floor to avoid detection and began searching in the dark. Now, in addition to these thieves being really, really bad and honestly incredibly unprepared for stealing something, I mean, they, they don't, they probably didn't visit the store before. They take 35,000 cards. Now, you know, one Black Lotus is all you really need to take, right? You just need one Black Lotus and you're good, you're good to go. You don't need to take 35,000 cards, right? So what are they doing? They're bulk sellers or something like that. There's free people. Uh, they broke through the side door. And then they went to get their 35,000 cards. So not... Not only do they not really know about much about um, th these card games, uh, that's why they took so many cards. Uh, like, like they said, the owners of the game actually made fun. Tofu Trading poked fun at the incident and diffused in the surveillance footage. And it includes sound effects and graphics when they post on Instagram. They didn't even know what to take. And that's kind of even more scary, right? I don't think they were in the hobby necessarily because they didn't know what to take. They, they probably just took a bunch of bulk. And that to me is kind of funny. You know, these thieves, if you're going to risk your freedom, are you going to really take 35,000 cards of bulk? And you can clearly figure out that, yes, bulk is bulk, right? So, uh, co-owner, co now they did also take the cash register, um, but they missed a special collection of cards released once a year that was set to be released by the stores two days later. Uh, guys, we know you're all excited about the, the releases this week. Simpson said over the video footage of the bur burglary, which showed someone crawling on the storage floor. Um, but they release January 26 on Friday, not 2 a.m. on Wednesday. And I think that's kind of, I mean, that's kind of the best way to uh, look at it, right? Now, the items, you know, again, tens of thousands of dollars. It just does seem like they took bulk and it is stressful. So as someone who has been broken in myself, um, as a game store owner and humble, it's tough, you know, and uh, it's not always easy to r figure out what is missing. I, you know, we have a point of sale system. The question is, like, was it already missing? Is it missing now? No one really knows, right? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, pe people steal. Uh, your employees steal. In fact, uh, I have a story to tell you. And again, probably not, you know, I've, I've been told many times not to tell this story because it might implicate... Uh, I had a situation where we had an employee steal and I actually caught said employee and I'm going to tell what gender it is and uh, they stole. Uh, they stole a t-shirt uh, among other things. So the one thing that I found that they stole was a t-shirt. We gave her two, we gave her like, you know, extra paycheck of one week to do it amicably and eventually she did return the, 
oh, okay, person returned a t-shirt and everything was fine. Um, I didn't think it was worth filing a police report at the time because uh, it's just a t-shirt. But in hindsight, you really don't know what they took, right? No idea. So be careful if you own a store. It's not uh, a situation where everyone is rooting for you or rooting hard, right? It is often a situation where you might be alone. And it's just you and your game store and people are trying to steal from it. And incidents like this where... This is unique uh, because I don't think these people were magic players. Typically speaking, the game store, the people likely to steal from your game store are actually your customers. As strange as this sound, because they know exactly where to target, they know exactly where to go, they've been to the place before, and they know, oh, this is where you keep all your valuable cards, this is not where you keep all your valuable cards, this is, you know, this is... um. Here, you know, I see that you have all, all, all this stuff here. It's a fascinating and often a very disturbing thing when you have somebody who's already been to your store. Maybe you've been played with this individual many times come in and steal from you. Th these, I think these are just random, free random guys decided a hobby store had a lot of money. And that itself is a danger, right? Like I said, and the store owner repeated, they don't know much about a hobby based on what they stole. If they did, they wouldn't have stole 35,000 cards. They would have stole just one or two of the more valuable cards. And they would that would be equivalent to tens of thousands. You know, one Black Lotus is equivalent to tens, uh, over $10,000 easily. And instead, they're stealing like literal bulk and sealed product and all this stuff when it was it's just a much easier way to do it. Just steal a few dual lands and you're ready. You're off to the races, right? So this is kind of a fascinating little thing that's happening right now. I think it's um, it's a little strange, um, definitely, but I, I kind of get it. Cards are getting more expensive. Cards are getting more liquid uh, as more people sell. I mean, maybe, I mean, if you look at him, he, he's just like, okay, cool. Let me take this bulk. He's like, what? Like, are you kidding me, right? Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, I think that's a bulk. And then he kind of puts back the bulk. He's like, oh, this is thing is really heavy. I don't want this. It's an interesting video, nonetheless. I mean, it's definitely a video I look at and say, wow, this is this guy has no idea what he's taking. Um, he, he's taking his good old time. Like, when, if you're going to rob someone, you got to, like, most of the robberies I see, they just come in, break, take the stuff, go directly to stuff that they want to take, which is mostly the valuable singles. And then they just uh, leave. These guys are kind of like shopping. It's almost like they're taking their good old time shop. Hey man, we don't, we're not in any rush. Let's kind of uh, take, a look, take a look around. Yeah, dude. No one's here. It's 2 a.m. We got plenty of time. <laughs> anyway, hi guys.